Not without implementing certain restrictions, many international car shows are resuming their operations in 2021. This results in an overwhelming inflow of all-new autos, many of which are undoubtedly electric. This video will be the first episode of a short series on our channel that summarizes the latest EV news of the season. So let's dive into a sea of electric concepts and freshly minted production-ready newcomers. Subscribe to Automotive Territory, ring the bell, and enjoy the ride! Mercedes EQE Similar in design to its larger and posher EQS siblings, the new Mercedes EQE gets the familiar closed-off grille, slightly more angular DRLs, and its own collection of 19 through 21-inch alloy wheels. This executive sedan arrives underpinned by a dedicated EV platform that allows for different drivetrain configurations and battery sizes. For now, the only confirmed model is EQE 350. It comes powered by a rear-mounted electric motor that makes 292 horses and 391 pound-feet. The standard battery pack has 90 kWh capacity, so this EQE is claimed to cover 660 WLTP kilometers or 366 EPA miles. Mercedes also hints that formatic and performance versions are possible in the future. The vehicle can recharge at 170 kW, which means that 140 miles are restored in 15 minutes. Technology-wise, the entry-level EQE gets a 12.3-inch driver's display and a 13-inch infotainment, though the flagship hyperscreen with three built-in displays is available as an option. Cupra Urban Rebel SAD's high-performance branch hit the bullseye when naming their latest concept as Urban Rebel. In the sea of super-efficient yet dull city EVs of the future, this sporty electric hat hatch with a wild-looking exterior would definitely stand out. About the same size as a Volkswagen Polo, Cupra's Urban EV features sharp styling lines, a shark-inspired nose, and aggressive triangular headlights. What we definitely should not expect from the road-going version is the concept's current massive rear wing with an integrated full-width rear light bar. Cupra did not really talk much about the numbers, though they claimed that the entry-level EV's powertrain will be capable of 340 horsepower with short boosts up to 435 ponies. Among the things confirmed is the use of VW Group's latest MEB short platform, which means that the price tag for the production model could start from 30 grand. VW ID5 GTX Nowadays, every SUV from the German VW Group is supposed to get a proper Coupe SUV counterpart. This rule is being followed by the upcoming ID5 model, which is basically a sloping roofline version of the ID4. Built on the MBB underpinnings, the crossovers revealed in the performance-focused GTX version that gets a 77 kWh battery and dual electric motors. The system should produce around 300 horses, enable four-wheel drive, and provide up to 276 EPA miles or 497 WLTP kilometers. It will also offer IQ Light LED matrix satellites with intelligent high beam assist, an integrated rear spoiler and the sloping roof, and LED taillights with 3D design. Its interior borrows the id 4 cabin layout with a digital instrument display and a 12-inch touchscreen. Renault Megane E-Tech Back in 2010s, Tesla was making big waves on the North American market, but it was a small city hatchback Zoe that was gradually electrifying Europe. Therefore, the next dedicated all-electric model from Renault is one of the most anticipated EVs in the old world. Unlike the previous generations of Megane, this EV abandons traditional sedan and hatchback body styles, going for the trendy cross-hatch form factor. The e tech is nearly identical to the 2020 Megane E-Vision concept, so it keeps the new style headlights, zigzag DRLs, contrasting roof, full-width brake lights, and 18 through 20-inch wheels. There are two powertrain choices, 130 horsepower with a 40 kWh battery and 188 miles of range, or a 218 HP 60 kWh unit good for 294 miles. The interior of this Renault introduces recycled fabrics and textures, there is a 12.3-inch digital dashboard and a 12-inch infotainment with an Android operating system. 
support the electric revolution by smashing that like button. Some experts say that each like adds one more supercharger station to the network. Thank you and let's keep going. BMW iVision Circular According to BMW, the electric city car from the future cannot simply have a zero-emission propulsion system. Its body parts must be also recyclable and made from sustainable materials. Take for example the BMW iVision Circular. It is a 13-feet-long hatchback-style compact car from 2040s. Both made of nearly 100% recycled materials and is 100% recyclable itself. To further reduce waste, BMW claims that the battery pack is made of solid-state modules, while many interior parts were 3D printed. However, the most futuristic thing about the iVision Circular lies within the car's core. It is said to be devoid of any bonded connections and composite materials, making it possible to disassemble with a single tool. Mercedes-AMG GT 63S ePerformance The new ePerformance badge will be carried by the most powerful representatives of the Mercedes-AMG lineup, and all of them will be electrified. This is also the case for the new GT 63S 4-door coupe that debuts a new plug-in hybrid drivetrain. The system is built around a 4-liter by turbo V8 assisted by an electric motor. The maximum output is 843 horses and 1,033 pound-feet of twist. The engine is paired with a 9-speed AMG speed shift gearbox, while the motor is integrated with a 2-speed gearbox and an electronical limited slip differential. The 6.1 kWh battery pack is specially designed for fast power delivery, and it is still good for 7.5 miles. Design-wise, the e-performance looks similar to the regular 63S, but it is distinguished by the new trapezoidal twin exhaust pipes, exclusive paint finishes, unique 20 or 21-inch wheels, and a more individualized interior styling. Audi Grand Sphere Concept If at least half of the innovative features of the Grand Sphere Concept make it to the production model for years later, it would be almost impossible to compete with Audi in the executive sedan segment. The envisioned A8 from 2025 boasts an extremely low and long-sloping shape with a distinctive teardrop rear end. The faux grille has been revised as a graphic pattern, hiding a bunch of driving sensors underneath. The electric powertrain comprises of two electric motors delivering combined 720 horsepower, and the standard 120 kWh battery pack is good for nearly 470 miles of range. You won't see a steering wheel and pedals inside the cabin, as the car features a level 4 autonomous driving, meaning a complete hands-off and eyes-off experience. However, when needed, the autonomy modes can be switched off, and the conventional control instruments will retract from the dashboard. Mercedes Maybach EQS Though already spotted in camo, the upcoming Mercedes EQS SUV has not been officially revealed yet, and instead we are getting to see its Maybach-branded offspring. The concept SUV rocks the brand's signature two-tone paint scheme with chrome accents, unique lighting, and large 24-inch wheels in the Maybach bold design. The model is built on the dedicated EVA2 platform, but unlike its lowered spec EQS siblings, it will be available exclusively in all-wheel drive. The number of motors, output and battery capacity have not been announced yet, but Germans promise up to 600 WLTP kilometers or around 330 EPA miles. The insights of the concept impress with Maybach's typical interior opulence. There are leather upholstered seats in white and dark blue, rose gold trim, and a huge 56-inch floating center console, labeled MBUX Hyperscreen. Volkswagen ID Life Planned for a market launch in 2025, the ID Life concept previews a new generation city car that will be aimed at younger buyers and car sharing services. Its styling crosses a mini car and an SUV. More muscular proportions are paired with minimalistic design accentuated by lighting signatures. The powertrain system is represented by a single front-wheel drive motor rated for 234 horses and a 62 kWh battery with 222 miles. Besides getting you from point A to point B, 
The model prioritizes the passenger's experience on the way, so its multifunctional interior can be transformed into a cinema, a gaming lounge, or a bed. The car relies on cameras instead of interior and exterior mirrors, gets a removable roof, while your smartphone acts as the main infotainment screen. Renault Hippie Caviar Hotel The arrival of the all-electric Renault traffic in 2022 has already been confirmed, and our first chance to take a look at the model was at the 2021 Dusseldorf Motor Show. The van was previewed as a part of the campsite setup that brings a 5-star experience and a super compact package. The Happy Caviar Hotel was inspired by the 60s movement, and its style is a throwback to the iconic Renault Estafette camper van. The two-tone Happy Camper has unique roof sunbathing area with a coffee table and removable backrests. Additionally, this terrace doubles down as a landing pad for delivery drones. The bed slides out of the rear doors to create an open view experience. The technical specifications for the traffic e tech are yet unknown, but in order to be competitive among other European models, the van should offer at least 140 miles of range. How would you rate the new EVs? We shall discuss them in the comment section below. So smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Automotive Territory not to miss the upcoming episodes of this mini-series. More electric news are incoming. The links to informative videos are displayed on the screen. Just give them a tap. May the torque be with you!